Located in the intermission, 1890 Bryant Street Studios houses over 100 artists, offering art lovers and collectors alike something exciting to discover. Here to chat about their spring open studios event is artist Nathan Foxton. Nathan, thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here, Olivia. Yeah, really excited to talk about 1890 Bryant Street Studios, kind of a legendary art studio over near the mission. It is quite notorious. Yeah, tell me all about it. If, if people don't know 1890 Bryant Street Studios, describe it to me. Well, it's a large uh, former mayonnaise factory really? on the corner. <laughs> yes. it's, it's kind of a funny <laughs> bit of history. Yeah. Um, on the corner of Bryant and Mariposa. Wow. Um, so the entrance is uh, right there. Um, it's, uh, it's unique in the sense that we're not a formal organization, so it's an artist-led event. We have to organize um, and put this thing on ourselves, so yeah. it's pretty exciting. It is very exciting. I do like, though, the fact that it's a lot of collaboration with artists having to collaborate together to come together within that art community. So tell me all about what people can expect to see when they walk through the doors. Well, it's three floors of artist studios, like large studios, small studios, and um, you could easily spend a couple hours just working your way through those three floors. Um, you're gonna see paintings, uh, we have ceramicists, jewelers, sculptors, uh, there's so much to see. Um, if you're looking for giftable items, we have them. Um, if you're looking for something um, a little more serious in terms of uh, collector, we have those as well. Um, many artists in our building uh, were featured at the De Young Open. Mm, that's incredible. Well, congratulations to all of you guys. It sounds like you, you have so many opportunities to showcase your art with, through different avenues. Now, why was this space critical for artists out here in the Bay Area to just have it that, so that they can come together and showcase their art? Well, it's um, the San Francisco and the Bay. It's, there's been a challenge for artists to um, keep momentum moving forward. Uh, you know, the city was a little slow to recover from COVID, and um, this is a, an opportunity to celebrate um, art that's made in the city, uh, to celebrate work that's uh, being made in response to things that are going on yeah. in, in the Bay Area. So um, it's really important um, to maintain that sense of culture and pride in the city. Well, you are doing that, too, through events, special events that you throw through 1890 Brain Street Studios. You have something coming up very soon. Yes. Tell me about this event. Uh, so we have our Spring Open Studios. It's going to be Saturday uh, the 13th and Sunday the 14th from noon to 6 uh, p.m. Um, so our doors will be open. It's free to the public. And, uh, you know, just so much... Um, it's easy for a date night. Uh, it's great if you want to bring your family or just, um, you know, if you haven't made a plan with your friends, just yeah. bring them over and we promise you will be uh, engaged and enjoy yourself. Now, you yourself, Nathan, are actually an artist as yes. well. So for you, speaking from an artist standpoint and point of view, why is this space so special for artists out there? Oh, I mean... It was, it just seemed like, <laughs> kind of appeared out of the clouds in a sense. Um, <laughs> I, I, was, I was looking for a space that, where I could work, where I could paint, and also uh, bring people in if I wanted to um, show interested uh, potential buyers uh, my work. And 1890 really, you know, checks all those boxes um, and more. Uh, I mean, like right now I'm wearing uh, some vintage Scandinavian jewelry ah, so from a uh, studio mate. <laughs> oh my gosh, so, it's gorgeous. So there's a lot of um, conversations and collaboration um, that goes on there. So I feel really fortunate to have that community of artists that I can um, bounce ideas off of and organize things with. So art, there's also a lot of history as well, and we can kind of see that over here. You did bring some artifacts yes, with you today that is from Bryant Street Studios. Walk me through some of these pieces over here, Nathan. Yes, um, the first one I'm gonna point out is this one right here, and this is um, a painting uh, called We Dream As Worlds Collide. Uh, it's a, a text-based painting by uh, Sophia Green. Um, and I also have this like little piece right over here yeah. by uh, Alan Queros, and oh, it's, it's, so it's one of those little uh, one of those little dog heads. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you've ever gone like for uh, you know walk through Golden Gate Park, some yeah. they've had these displayed. But it's just an exquisite little drawn piece here. Um, we also have a uh, a scarf I see by that. Uh, yeah. Charles Stinson and uh, another scarf by Simone Neri. Beautiful pieces, um, ab abstract photo work there. Mm -hmm. um, and this you know there's a beautiful uh, ceramic vase by Linda Matson. So. Uh, you know, if you're looking for a statement piece, um, we also have uh, some jewelry. Yes, some jewelry I see as, well. as well. Exactly. So, if you're looking for something for your table, or you're looking for something for your ears, um, you we literally have it, all. have it all. Yes, exactly. It's like. <laughs> 
Yeah, if you want to, you know, find some statement pieces, if you want to find some things to really like wow your friends, uh -huh. um, this is an opportunity to really understand the immense amount of creativity uh, that's happening in San Francisco. And there is, there's so much creativity. I've learned that literally just being on this show and meeting so many amazing people like you, that there is so much creativity and artwork and beauty out here in the Bay Area that needs to be celebrated. I have one final question for you, sure. Nathan, before I let you go. As an artist and also just, you know, being part of 1890 Bryant Street Studios, when people walk through the doors and they come through some of these events, what is it that you hope they take away from the overall experience? I know it's tough. I'm asking I, tough questions here. <laughs> I think, you know, the the art world, the, the creative art world, can really um, open up horizons. Yeah. And that's both to um, how art can enrich your own life, mm. um, but also we're a we're a diverse uh, bunch of social artists. Um, and so I would hope that the conversations that people have um, would be meaningful, uh, mm. and that people would walk away um, and. Just with like, you know, uh, sparkles of ways that they might consider their own creativity. So if you're that. if you're looking for a nice lift off to the spring here, yeah. this is a great opportunity. I love that. Well, thank you so much. We do appreciate it, and we're excited for the weekend's events. Thanks for joining us, Nathan. Great to be here.